You may not know his name, but I'm confident you know his work, or at least have felt its reverberations throughout the entire internet. His dedication to his craft is legendary and his tenacity unmatched. But to fully appreciate the savant genius of creator Mountain Dew, we must first explore the medium in which he has chosen to express himself, the shitpost. If you look to Urban Dictionary, you'll mostly find two definitions. One, the posting of content on the internet that is irrelevant and ultimately unconstructive. Or two, an ironic art form of expressive yet apathetic fun posting. Shout out to user Fish Penis on that second one. I could not have said it better myself. There's an appeal to shitposting that's very hard to put into words. While some consider it to be the bane of the internet tearing down and muddling conversations throughout the online world, it has also become a form of expression. It's sort of similar to standing on a rooftop at midnight and screaming nonsense at people as they walk by on the street. It's annoying, incoherent, but also strangely cathartic. Even more so if random strangers start screaming back nonsense at you. It's intangible, but there's definitely an art to it. Certain shitposts are just more celebrated than others. Certain shitposters have become celebrated, getting followers and fans, producing work you really couldn't describe as good, but still somehow of worth. However, if you were to take a quick look at Mountain Dew's body of work, it is quite easy to identify what makes him stand apart from the rest. It's the high quality and polish of his shit. It's entirely oxymoronic, but Mountain Dew has built up a fan base by diligently crafting only the finest and most masterful shit posts. His most renowned videos are those in which he uses Terry Crews' appearance in Old Spice commercials and makes him Why? It's hard to say other than the fact that for some reason it is incredibly entertaining. So entertaining that even Terry Crews himself has given it the stamp of approval. There's just something about the sheer amount of editing done to such a limited amount of footage that just creates this manic energy. It's similar to, say, if someone were to go on an Adderall binge and suddenly decide to write 400 haikus about Wheel of Fortune. It's entirely stupid, a wasted effort, but also impressive, almost decadent in how pointless it is. So much so that some might even question, is this really shitposting? In one of the definitions I mentioned earlier, the word apathy is used, and I must say it is an absolutely essential ingredient to the shitpost. As soon as effort or purpose is detected in someone's shitposting, it will be cast aside. It's hard to say why, but I think as soon as there is a sense of sincere motive, the post stops being shitty nonsense and just turns into art. I personally enjoy my shitpost as a means to take a break from meaning and logic, a sort of physical means of disassociating from this entire plane of existence. A quality shitpost is entertaining on accident, it's some stranger's selfish expression of stupidity, and if you happen to enjoy it, then that's just even more stupid. So how is it that Mountain Dew can deliberately spend hours of intense work and animation to create so many marvelous shitposts? I think it's its true dedication to pure shittiness that allows Mountain Dew to straddle that line between shit and quality. It's a skill that impresses me even now as I'm talking and realizing that it's something I'm completely incapable of. Having almost finished making this video now, I'm kind of realizing that trying to give this man's work any kind of meaning, I'm actually kind of defeating the purpose of it all. You know what? Just do me a favor and forget everything I said in this video and just go watch Duck.gif. I'll post the link in the description. and. I guarantee you it's a complete waste of your time. It's something to sleep on. Have a good evening, Netscape Navigators.